Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about transformations of function. A function of the form is transformed by changing the values of a, b, h, and k. Changing the value of h and k, so h and k, results in a horizontal or vertical translation. Changing the sign of a or b, so positive to negative or negative to positive, this results in a reflection across one of the axes, so across the x-axis or across the y-axis. Changing the value for a or b results in a horizontal or vertical stretch or compress. In our video for today, we will learn about translation and reflection. So, transformations of functions, they represent changes of that function. Transformations, they can be rigid or can, they can be non-rigid. Rigid, it means that only position of the function, it is changed. While non-rigid, it, non it means that the size and the shape of that graph, they are going to be changed. I will take the translation and reflection one by one in order and talk about them. And then we can say like this. First of all, we say function, but the symbol to write function, it is f of x, where x represents the input of the function, which is independent value. And why it's all of it f of x, which is the output, and it's dependent value and depends on x. Any transformation can change the x value or can change the y value. If the transformation is done for x, that transformation it is called a horizontal transformation. If the transformation is done on Y, the transformation, it is called a vertical transformation. Translation. It is also called shift or slide. It can be done horizontal for x, or it can be done vertical for y. The pre-image has the form of f of x. This one, we will translate it. Horizontal or vertical, or both of them. So horizontal, it's the horizontal will affect the x-coordinate. And the vertical will affect the y, where y is f of x. Horizontal for x, x is located on x-axis. So it can be done right, or it can be done left. Horizontal right, the pre-image, it's f of x. Right, so slide the function units, u units right. The image, it will be f of, as we said, the right and left is done for x. So units right, it will be x minus that unit. If it is horizontal units left, the pre-image f of x, it will change into image. So left for x, x plus the units. Vertical, it can be done up or it can be done down. So units up or units down, slide it up or slide it down. And the f of x, pre-image, the image after translated unit up, it will be f of x, so all of it y, plus that unit. If it is down, f of x, the pre-image, will become f of x, the y, minus the unit. So up we do plus, 
down we do minus. Right for horizontal right we do minus and horizontal left we are going to do plus. Keep it in your mind, translation, it's the only one transformation in which the operation plus or minus, they are going to be used. The other transformation we said is reflection. Reflection, it is also called a flip. And to be performed needs a line of reflection. The line of deflection, it is also called line of symmetry. This line, it will be in the middle of the distance between the pre-image and the image. The line of the reflection, it can be represented by the x-axis or it can be represented by the y-axis. That's why reflection, it can be done across x-axis, or it can be done across y-axis. So let's take the first one, across the x-axis, so the line of the symmetry, the line of deflection, it will be the x-axis. The pre-image, it's above the x-axis. So the image, it will be opposite of it, which means here, if you can take a look between the two figures, the x-coordinate is now changed, is now changing the x-coordinate, but the y-coordinate changes into opposite of it. So then, to write the rule, we can say the pre-image changes into the x is now changing it. We'll keep it as it is. And the y changes into its opposite, so negative f of x. If it is across the y-axis, the y-axis it is vertical, so let's say this is the pre-image. The y-axis, it will be in the middle of the pre-image image. So the image, it will be opposite of it. In this case, you'll see that the y-coordinate, it is not changed. And the x changes from x it will, in its opposite. So then the rule, it will be f of x changes into f of so the change was done in x, opposite of it, so negative x, and the y keep it positive. Let's see. As you can see here in the figure, yeah, the pre-image is in blue color, and the function, the pre-image was slided up. So this slided up or slide it down, this transformation will affect the y coordinate, where y it means f of x. If the function is slided up, then we'll do plus the units, so f of x the y plus the units up, and if it is slided down, it will be f of x the function, the pre image minus the unit. If we take a look in this figure, in blue color here, this is the pre-image, the original function pre-image, and this one was slided into the right. When the function is slided in the right, the x-coordinate changes, and instead of f of x, here for x we do x minus the unit's right. Here, you see the pre-image was slided left, right and left, as we said, the x-coordinate changes, but left will do plus the units. This is the reflection when, in the first case here, the x-axis is in the middle, so the function is reflected across the x-axis. The x-coordinate, it will be the same, and the y-coordinate changes from its y into its opposite, so from positive to negative, or negative into the positive. In the second figure here, we see y-axis, it's in the middle of the figure. So the y-coordinate is no going, it's not going to be changed, 
but the x coordinate it goes from positive into the negative yes so into the opposite of it or negative into positive they say identify the parent function parent function it's the simplest form of the function of g of x so this g of x it is given first of all we have to identify the parent function of this function and after we are going to describe the transformations happened on it so the parent function we said it's the simplest form of the function the input it's independent so that you can identify the parent function always follow the x in the rule we have x written here the constants that they will appear here just cross them out this is the simplest form and we will write f of x equal square root of x which means the function is a square root function as you can see x in the bracket it's the pre-image here x pre-image and here x in, uh, in it in the rule now we go down and we take a look in the rule it was x only and now for x we have a plus six so this plus six it's a transformation on x because it's on x that transformation we said it is called horizontal transformation the plus or minus operations we said they tell us that there is about translation shift or plus so we can say horizontal shift or we can name it horizontal translation or horizontal slide shift we have a plus six which means six units left we move right more and we see outside the root we have a minus four in the pre-image here outside the root was nothing so minus four it's the second transformation it's from outside the x so this transformation will be a vertical transformation it's for y and plus minus operations we said this is translation so we can write vertical shift or vertical slide or translate four units minus it means units down let's try one more so to identify the parent function i follow the x the way x is written in the rule it's x here and x it's inside of the square root the constants keep them away so the f of x, the parent function, it will be square root of x. We see x minus 7, plus or minus, so minus 7, plus or minus, it means translation shift. So it was done for x, then the transformation is called a horizontal shift. 7 units, if it is plus, we put right. We move more and we said after the root, we have a plus three. So plus three, it comes here outside the root. Outside the root, it means outside the x, it means the transformation is done for y. So this transformation, it is called vertical. The operation plus tells us there was a shift. And plus three, it means three units up let's try more we have g of x equals to identify the whatever follow the x the input whatever it's more than x in the right side or left side of it just cross it out so this and this out me i keep only the way x is written which means equals square root of x so this is the parent form f of x equals square root of x from left into the right we will describe the changes in front of the square root here was nothing written but now down i have a factor 
negative 1. The factor negative 1 tells me that there is a reflection. It's a negative for y, which means negative y. So negative for y, x, it is keep, we keep it unchanged. So the reflection, it will be done across its axis. We go on. Minus one. Minus one for e, so minus one for e. This transformation, it's a horizontal transformation. Minus tells me that there is a translation. One unit into the right. We go right more and we will. So outside the root here in parent form was nothing, and now we see a plus two. So this plus two, this transformation, it was done for y. So it is called vertical transformation. Because of the plus, it's a translation. And two units up. Let's try more. Okay, we see g of x equals negative, open bracket, square root, x minus 1 plus 2. So, to identify the parent function f of x, we said, we look for where x is written. I have the x written here inside of the root. So, me, I follow the x only. So, the parent form, it will be square root of x. When we will describe the transformations, because we have here bracket, follow the order of operations, and remember that the parentheses brackets, they are done before plus minus times divide operations. So we will start from inside the bracket. It was x only, and now became x minus 1. So this transformation was done for x. It is called horizontal transformation. Minus tells me that there it's a translation. One unit into the right. We go right more and we see outside the root, it's a plus two. Because it's outside the root, this plus two is done for y, which means this transformation, it is called vertical. It's a vertical transformation. The plus tells me that there it's a translation. And plus 2, it means 2 units up. Then we go from outside, we see here the minus. The negative in front of the bracket, it came from factor negative 1. And the factor negative 1 tells us that there it's a reflection. So from outside the negative, we write reflect. But because it's negative from outside, it's not for x, it's from outside of x, which means it's for y. Here, in fact, we have a negative y, and this is a reflect across the x-axis. Describe the transformations for the given expressions. So now I have to describe the transformation. The rule is given. All I have to do is to describe it. So I see here, the parent form is the simplest form, so I look for it only. So no minus one plus one. The parent form is Now I see a minus one for x, which means this transformation, it's a horizontal. Minus, it means translation, one unit into the right. From outside the bracket, I have plus 2, which means this transformation was done for y, and that is called vertical. Plus, it's a translation. Two units up. In the second example, the function is called h, 
and we look for x only. So the parent form is h, h of x. Now, in the parent form here, in the pre-image, we have x only. And in the transformation, we see a plus 7 for x. So this transformation is called horizontal plus its translation, 7 units left. Close the bracket. From outside the bracket, it's a plus 8, which means this plus 8 was done for y. So the transformation is called vertical. The plus operation tells me that there it's a translation. 8 units up. Let's try more. So, we follow the name of the From left into the right. In front of x here, this x was positive and now became negative. We said that the negative, it came from factor negative 1. So this negative represents reflection. It's negative in front of f of x. X axis. For x is no change, as you can see, no change for x, but outside of it I have a plus 2, so outside it's for y, which is called vertical transformation, plus its translation, 2 units up. Let's try more. The name of the function it is h, so h of x. This is the parent form. From left into the right, we'll try to check the transformations. It was a positive h and now became a negative one. So negative, as we said, represents the factor negative one and this is reflection. h of x, it means y. And the negative in front of it, it will be a negative y, so it's a reflect across x-axis. It was x only, and now we see a plus 6 for x. So this transformation, it's a horizontal transformation because we did plus for x and x is horizontal. The plus tells us there it's a translation. 6 units plus 6, it means 6 units left. They say, apply the following transformations on the function f of x equals to x squared. First of all, f of x I will write it separate here like this. f of x equals to x squared. To describe or apply easier these transformations, as long the x here in the rule, it is written into brackets, into the right side, I'll do the same thing. The way I see the x written here, I will make it to be here. So I put the brackets for x only. So as I see input left of equals, I want to see it into the right of equals. Whatever happens for x, it's horizontal inside of this bracket, and vertical from outside, it will be for y. So let's see. Two units to the right. So to the right, left and right, it means for x. So we can say a prime of the image. So, two units right, I do it for x. It will be f of x minus 2. Slide, it's the same shift or translate. One unit left, right and left, the x coordinate is going to be uh, affected. So again, it will be here inside for x. So the image f prime of x, 
it will be f of the transformation because it's left is done for x and left will do plus one unit. Shift slide translate it the same thing. But here is it up, so if it is three units up, that one is done for y, where y it is all of this. So we will write the pre image the image f prime of x it will be so the function all slides up it will be f of x this is the y plus the three units up if it is shift one unit down as we said where y is the f of x all so f prime of x, it will be the y, which is f of x, minus the one unit. Reflect across the x-axis. So we said, if it is reflect across the x-axis, this is my function again. If we reflect across the x-axis, the x, keep it as it is. The y changes into its opposite. And from positive, opposite for positive is negative, and opposite negative is positive. So the f prime of x, the image, it will be the negative sign, it goes into the y, where y is all of this. Negative x squared. If it is reflect across the y-axis, we said the y-coordinate does not change and the x changes into its opposite. So f prime of x, the image it will be from outside, the y does not change. The change it will be done here for x, which goes into its opposite. For the quadratic function, the reflect across y-axis, the pre-image, the